in the United States. Here he is. It's the Ranger. welcome you and I can't tell you how happy I am that you're here but I thought with this particular crowd that you might drop in by parachute well, Bob I'll leave that to the experts if I tried that I might have landed on your birthday cake <laughs> Yeah, the seat of government would have icing all over it, huh? <laughs> but, you know, it's great to have you here. I'm just sorry Nancy isn't with you. Well, I was going to ask her, but I was afraid she'd just, just say no. <laughs> I want to tell you, Mr. President, with all the travel and all the work you've done, you look just great. Bob, you, you look great, too. Well, I hope I hope look I that look good, good when, when I'm, I'm your age. <laughs> you know, vaudeville come back, we're set. <laughs> Robert, I just want to say something to all these people here. And that is that I'm sure that many of them know this has been a career with you on birthdays, on holidays of all kinds, dating clear back to the draft days before World War II. You were out entertaining our people in uniform. And then, through three wars, through three wars, you went wherever our fighting men and women were to bring a little touch of home to them and you left and you were there and now we're at peace and you're still doing it. And I think it's, it's just great of you. But also, I would like to say on behalf of your audience, nothing in the job I have has made me more proud than these young men and women in uniform. <laughs> Believe me, Bob, they are the finest we've ever had. <laughs>